The Archer RS receiver integrates all of the advantages of the previous receiver in its class, the RXSR. Dual detachable and replaceable antennas assure optimal antenna reception and maximum range with its lightweight design thanks to the extremely tiny form factor. The Archer RS features an inverted S port that allows for easily connecting flight controllers. All of the Archer receivers are hyper-matched with the access protocol. They not only feature wireless firmware upgrades, increased range, and telemetry performance, but the Archer RS now supports even more functions like configurable telemetry power, S port, F port switching, and FLR output. Additional valuable features are under development to unlock the true potential of the access. In this video, we'll show you how to enable race mode on your Archer RS receiver. First, we need to update OpenTX on our radio to version 2.3.12. To download the files for this OpenTX version, navigate to the FreeSky homepage, select your radio from the products menu, and go to the Downloads tab. Next, we're going to go to the firmware for the radio OS and here we'll find the download link for the version of OpenTX that we need to initiate race mode. Extract the files to your computer. Next, we're gonna go into OpenTX Companion, load the firmware we just downloaded, and flash our radio with the new OpenTX firmware. This is version 2.3.12. Write the file to your radio to finish flashing the new version of OpenTX. Next, we're going to update the internal module and the Archer RS receiver. Back to your radio's download product menu, go to the Downloads tab, select the firmware ISRM RF module, and download the latest version of the firmware for your ISRM module. Extract this file to your radio's SD card contents in the firmware folder. Repeat this process with the firmware for the Archer RS receiver. Go to the receiver page, the downloads tab, download the latest firmware, and extract it to your SD card on your radio. We want to make sure we're flashing version 2.1.6 or higher. You should now see both ISRM and receiver firmware in your firmware's folder on your radio's SD card. Eject the SD card and we're ready to move over to the radio and start flashing. Navigate to the firmware folder. Then find the firmware file for your ISRM module. Now we're going to flash the internal ISRM module by long pressing and selecting flash internal module. This will just take a moment to flash. Once the flash is successfully done to your internal module, we can now bind and register our receiver and flash the Archer RS. First, we're gonna set up the radio model to make sure the internal RF is on. Set mode to access and channel range channels one through eight, seven milliseconds. Now check the box, racing mode. Make sure you set your failsafe to no pulses. We're ready to register and bind our receiver. Once the Archer RS is bound, we can flash it over the air with the new firmware. Connect your receiver and radio. Navigate back to the firmware's folder and select the firmware for the Archer RS receiver. Long press and select flash over external OTA. Next, we need to set up a switch to enable racing mode in our special functions menu. Navigate to your special functions menu and set up a new switch. Here we're selecting switch A in the up position. Once you've selected the switch, change the special function to racing mode. Now we're ready to activate race mode with the simple flick of a switch.